quick video update on our garden, which uh, you saw, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, I just, just start show you how things are going. There's the, the cucumbers in a straw bale again, come along right nicely. And uh, the, these cucumbers are rocking. We're just starting to uh, get a few cucumbers off of them. Uh, they're looking pretty good. And our pepper plants are doing okay. Uh, and we've got a few, few peppers they starting to come available. We haven't picked any of those yet, but uh, everything looks good. The squash plants, we have reached our quota for uh, frozen squash. Uh, future squash is for uh, eating fresh or pickling or giving away if anybody would take it. As you can see, our beans are really doing pretty good despite if you look closely you can see there's some insect pressure on them which I've been spraying with neem oil which is organic it's just cold pressed oil from neem tree seeds and uh, that's been not a hundred percent effective however the the plants are still look really healthy uh, they still haven't started flowering yet uh, but should anytime we got a late start with our garden this year and again, here's the tomatoes in the tomato house growing in straw bales. And we have quite a few green tomatoes. Uh, not massive amounts of them, which we actually do not get enough sun here. So I don't expect a real bountiful harvest on all of them. But the experiment is kind of a success, I'd say. The, uh, uh, the, 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 the tomatoes are doing fine in straw bales and as a matter of fact uh, they're going to fill the place up and the tomatoes on the other side that are in the ground are doing equally well so far I haven't seen any signs of blight uh, that every little brown spot that comes up on the leaf worries me because it's been so bad in the past but I really think uh, keeping them in here in the dry has been helpful uh, there's also I don't know if you can see back there we've got uh, a uh, cucumber vine in here which is climbing up all over the place and one squash plant and they both have there's cucumbers and squash on them right now uh, just about ready to pick um, I need to mow the paths as you can see. However, as you can also see, if you look, the weed fabric is really just doing stellar. We just don't have to do any weeding and it doesn't seem to have affected the plants. That's our latest planting of, of cucumbers. They should start bearing in the middle of September, hopefully. and. Uh, if uh, I'm ambitious enough, I'm going to plant a few more squash plants, which should bear at about that same time if I get the seeds in the ground right away. But you can see everything's really done pretty good uh, here. And here's the back side of the cucumber vines growing on the fence. And if you look carefully, you can see a few future pickles hanging there actually quite a lot of, uh, of small ones and I'd say we're about to reach the point where we're gonna have more pickles than we can eat. This is our little pumpkin patch which these are just so fun to grow because uh, they're pretty carefree. I don't know if you can see in there. We're just starting to get a few pumpkins on the vine. Uh, <laughs> there's also a few uh, watermelon vines in there, but the pumpkins are such aggressive growers that I'm afraid the watermelons don't stand much of a chance. They're just gonna get shaded out. But anyway, 
that's our garden update uh hope you find it a tiny bit interesting and again shoot a video and upload it on youtube and send me a link i'd love to see how your uh endeavors are going that's it thanks